today I'm going to be filming with something that I feel like I've been waiting for forever. I think I ordered this like late September. This was a pre-order though, so I mean that happens a lot with indie brands, so I'm not mad about it, but like I've been waiting so long and I've been so excited and it's finally here. We're gonna be playing with the Shroud Cosmetics Arcana palette. I can't wait to dig into this because when I saw this palette, I knew I needed it. Not only do I love the other two palettes that I have from Shroud, um, they used to be called Strobe Cosmetics and then they rebranded so it's still like the same owner and the same brand and the same formulas but just a different name so I just wanted to make sure I got that out there. But I'm going to open up the palette so you can see what this looks like and once I open this, oh and just look at that package, oh it's just so pretty. Just look at this. <laughs> Look at this color story. I mean, isn't that just so me? You guys know how much I love like dark colors and that's basically what you have in this palette. So I think this is absolutely stunning. I can't wait to try this. And I also want to say thank you to Chloe, the owner of the brand, because she actually included some uh, single shadows that are going to be launching on the 12th of December. So I want to show you those as well. These are called the Moonfall Eyeshadow Trio. So these are three single shadows. And they come in a little pouch like this and then here are the shadows and this is how they come packaged and then you just kind of pull them out here and this is the shadow so i'm gonna go ahead and pop all of these out so here are the three shadows up close and i will give you some quick swatches here so the first one is the purple it's called soul stone oh, that is a beautiful color this is going to look absolutely incredible i mean just look at that shine Next up we have the green, which is called Artifact. Ooh, that is stunning. Oh, I love that. <laughs> My dog is excited about it too. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. And last but not least, we have Night Song, which is the blue. Oh, that is beautiful as well. I love those colors together. Oh my God, these are going to go so well with this palette as well. And she also added in some pins. So thank you so much, Chloe, for adding in these uh, extra things. I mean, all of this is just so cute. I can't wait to play with this. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to do some swatches, though, because I always like to swatch my palettes before I get into them. So in here, we have six mattes and six shimmers, which I think is perfect. I love when it's like a half and half ratio. I will say that the green and the blue mattes were a little bit just dry to the touch, but that's very common with shades like that, especially dark ones. So I'm not really concerned by that at all. The other kind of neutrally toned mattes were very, very smooth and silky. And the shimmer swatched very nicely, so I'm just excited. I just want to, you know, play with this. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow primer. So this palette is still available if you guys have been thinking about picking it up. It does cost $47, so that is kind of expensive. But from what I've tried from the brand in the past, I have no doubt in my mind that this is going to be an amazing palette. So let's see, what do I want to do today? Um, since I have been doing like Christmassy and holiday looks so far, I kind of want to like continue with that train, but I don't know where exactly I want to go with this. I'm thinking maybe we could make this into like a New Year's Eve glam look or something and like work with this uh, yellowy greeny gold. Maybe that could be fun. And there is also like a reddish uh, shimmer in this as well. So maybe I'll pull in like these two along with maybe like the green and the blue or something like that. I don't really know. I'm going to think about this for a bit because this is a bit of a, a tricky color story to like come up with something to do right away. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break and think about what to do for a second. So let's start off by taking Entity and I'm going to put that into my crease and then I think I'm going to go ahead and deepen it up with Sacred. I think I'm going to start with that and just, you know, see where it takes us. So I'm going to go ahead and use this as my transition shade. I know some people are probably going to complain and say that there's not enough like light colors in this palette, but I don't really mind that because I don't always use transition shades. So, and this color is literally so soft and so smooth that I feel like if you're really into transition shades, like this will be the perfect shade if you're of my skin tone or maybe a little bit darker even. Did any of you guys buy this palette? I definitely know that some of you who watched me did buy this because you've told me already, but have you gotten your palette yet? And if so, have you tried it? What do you think about it? Because I feel like I'm going to really, really love this because I just love the dark color story in it. I wish more brands would be a bit more ballsy and like not just put light shades in all of their palettes, you know? So next up, I'm gonna go into Sacred, which is this uh, dark red. This color definitely has more kick up than the yellow, which isn't really an issue at all, but I always like to mention it just in case it is for you. So I'm first gonna start by packing it on the outer corner of my eye. And once I've done that, I'm gonna start taking this color through my crease as well. I feel 
like those two colors are just like meant to be together because they are blending in together so beautifully and I feel like I need to just say in this video as well if you didn't watch my what video did I mention at it I think it was my number five countdown of the year I'll have that linked up in the corner if you didn't see it but I was saying in that video that I probably won't have time to do any multiple look videos in December and probably not January as well so even though I am working with a very nude palette right now that I would love 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 to do more looks with right now I just simply don't have time because this month is just so busy so I just wanted to make sure that I throw that out there for you guys who didn't watch that video because I know most of the time I do tend to do multiple looks video you know with like newer palettes that I do get right after I do my first impressions but unfortunately I'm just not going to have time to do that with this one and probably not the other ones either that I plan on putting up a first impression with in December but I mean this is looking so nice I'm not very good at blending today apparently because I just have some issues on this eye which is not the shadows fault at all it's just me being a little bit sloppy here but it's okay it's gonna come together in the end because it always does so should I go ahead and do my lower lash line now or should I wait I think I just want to use it now or do it now so I think what I'm gonna do actually you know what I take that back let's do the lid first for the lid I'm gonna first go into Enchantress which is this uh, red shimmer and I am going to go ahead and spray that with some fixed dust because I do that with all of my shimmers. And I'm going to be placing this like basically in the middle of my lid here and just blending it. Wow, that's beautiful. Blending it into that outer corner shade. And then in the inner part, I'm going to use that uh, kind of gold shade. Actually, I wish I cut my crease now, but oops, a little bit too late. Oh, well, what can you do? I think I've just been so in the habit of like not doing any cut creases that I, it's almost like I forget that they even exist now because I haven't been doing them in so long but it's fine. This is definitely not like the most foiled and intense shimmer, but I really, really, really like the color of this. I don't have a lot of like red shimmers in my collection, so every time I get a red shimmer, I love it. So that's really pretty. I'm gonna go into, I think this is called Chalice. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna blame that on English not being my first language because I feel like I'm supposed to know what that means, but I just don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that on a bit of a smaller brush here and I'm gonna spray that as well. And I'm gonna pop that in the first part of my lid here where I don't have any shadow yet. And I'm just going to layer that gently over that red and just kind of mix the two in together. And this color is so stunning. Like these are just mixing together so beautifully. So I'm literally so worried right now because my husband this morning was like, hey, you might want to start taking some vitamin C because I think I'm getting sick. And now I'm so paranoid that I'm going to get sick too because I just, I simply can't. Like I can't get sick in the summer because I have so much I need to do right now. So now I'm like, I better not get sick. I better not get sick. I better not get sick. So cross your fingers for me that I'm not going to be sick because I would literally cry because I just don't have time for that. But I mean, the shadow though, it's beautiful. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that matte shade that I used in my crease and just make sure that my outer corners are as steep as I can get it here. So I'm using a bit of a smaller, denser brush to really pack on the color. And also just make sure that my crease is deep and that everything is nice and blended here. So I'm gonna try to clean up the edges here a little bit. I'm just going to take a dry Q-tip and just really drag this up because it'll remove a little bit of the color. I like doing this when I'm using like different colors on my lower lash line, just so that whatever I have out here isn't going to mix into the color that I'm putting down. And I'm not sure what I wanna do on my lower lash line because I really wanna use this blue, but maybe I'll just use the blue. What do you think? Should I use the blue? I kinda wanna use this too though, but I feel like that might be a little dark. I think I'm just gonna go with this. I know it's a shimmer, but I sometimes like using a shimmer on my lower lash line. So I'm gonna go in with this on a small pencil brush and I am going to spray this just to make sure I don't get any fallout or anything crazy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and smudge that all under my lower lash line. And this is a beautiful color. It almost looks like it's got a bit of a, a black base to it. I'm leaving a little bit of room just in my inner portion of my lower lash line because I'm thinking maybe I wanna do, maybe I wanna put a little bit of the green in there. I'm kinda of wishing I did like a half and half on my lower lash line now, but it's fine. I think this is going to work out pretty well still. And then for the inner portion here where I don't have any shadow yet, I'm gonna go into Alchemy. And this one also looks like it's got a bit of a black base. I really like those kind of shimmers. I think they're super fun. So I'm going to place that like right next to the blue here. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. If you can't, I'm so sorry. 
And then to just kind of wrap around my inner corner, I'm going to go in with a bit more of that shade that I used in the beginning of my lid here and just layer those slightly over that green, just to lighten up that green a bit. So I looked up and my camera had turned off. I don't know if you saw me wrapping around that gold into my inner corner to just meet it up with the green, but that's basically what I did. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the look. I think I'm going to put maybe something yellow in my waterline. That could be kind of fun. And then I'm going to just finish off my eyes, put on a lipstick, and I will be right back and show you the look and tell you my first impression thoughts on this palette. So this is the look all complete. I did decide to add a couple of rhinestones here because I just thought it would be fun. And I went with green because I use green in my waterline because again, I just, with my green hair, there's something about green that just makes me go, use green, use green, use green. And I'm sure when I change my hair color, I'm probably gonna go turquoise in January. I think that's going to be the plan. I'm sure I'm going to be using all of my blue eyeliners all the time, but in my waterline is Gotcha. This is by LA Girl. Um, I thought that it would be cool to match the rhinestones to the eyeliner, so that's why I went with the green. And these are my rhinestones. I buy these on Amazon. They're like for nail art, but I will link them down below in case you're interested. They're just super fun. And just to apply them, I use some lash glue, and when I've done that, they just stick all day. Um, on my lips, I have Barack by Ofra, and I thought that this would just be a good match. It's kind of like a nude, but I feel like it goes really nicely with the colors that I have like on my top lid. So overall, how do I feel about this palette? I really like this palette. My only complaint would be but this is just a personal preference but I wish that the shimmers were a little bit more intense but I also didn't use it with glitter glue and stuff like that but I prefer my shimmers to be a little bit more foiled and just a little bit more in your face but I know a lot of people like when they're just shimmers you know and that's what I feel like these are the colors are absolutely stunning I love the color story I love the packaging I love I love how many dark colors are in here like that just makes me so happy and the fact that there's like a red shimmer, I mean, that's just so cool. So I'm really happy that I have this palette in my collection and I will for sure try to, <laughs> for sure try to. I will try to uh, do more looks with this palette in the future. It's probably going to be like in the next year at some point. So that's gonna be it for my first impression with the Arcana palette. Let me know what you think. Are you more interested in getting the palette now than you were before you watched this video? Because I know I would be. I'm kind of obsessed with this look. I think this turned out so cool. If you wanna see some other first impression videos I've done, you can click on one of these. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.